talk about the history of video games, there's a couple games that we have to talk about, like Kong, Batman, and Super Mario Brothers, that really influenced the entire video game industry. And Xevious is one of those things. Xevious influenced the vertical shooting game genre more than any other game. And in my opinion, it's Ridiculous. 
And I, I, I'm not a big fan of adding in all those three-dimensional polygons and crap all over the screen. I think keeping it simple like this is the way to go. And that's why I like CBS so much in games like Raiden 3. I'm generally not a huge fan of using the Xbox 360 controller on this game. It's definitely challenging. I prefer the arcade style joystick and buttons, but you know what are you going to do when you just don't have a stand-up Zevius arcade machine in your basement? Xbox Live is about the best thing you can have. So it does require some skill to hammer away at the button, and also remember to bomb your enemies at a precise time. This is, a, this is not a game where you can just hold down the fire button. It does give you an option to do a manual shot where you just fire at the rate that I'm firing at now. Also, I use my other trigger to hold down the auto fire. So if a wave of enemies comes at me, I hold down that trigger and it lets off a machine gun burst of shots. But you cannot just hold down a consistent auto fire for the entire game. And for whatever reason, the music, although it just repeats itself over and over again, it never gets old. And maybe that's just because Xevious is that awesome. Here are the metal plates. Like, just look at those. 20 years ago, that was incredible. They're tough, too. You have to dodge those things. You can't blow them up, so you have to dodge them. And then the enemy fire is coming at you, and then, you know, you get caught in between the enemy fire and the spinning metal plates, and uh, it kills you. I love to see the resurgence in arcade titles on Xbox Live. And they don't cost much on Xbox Live. The game like this is only about five bucks, and it really has infinite replay value. Even if you went out to find this for your Atari 7800 or NES, it would still cost you at least five or six bucks when you add in the shipping cost. Because, you know, you'd probably end up finding it on eBay, for instance. But with the Xbox Live, you just download it and it's no problem. Now, I'm by no means the greatest GBS player in the world. In fact, I'd like to get a lot better at this game because it really is one of my favorite games and always has been. I just need to find the time to sit down and get back into it. One of my favorite game systems is the Atari 7800. And that's one that I grew up with and had when I was a kid. And Xevious was up there with Robotron 2084 as, as my favorite game on the Atari 7800. I've played it for hours and hours and hours and hours. And I'm glad to see that there's still a lot of interest in Xevious today. If you like this genre, you've never played Xevious before, you owe it to yourself to pick this game up on Xbox Live or the 7800 or the NES. And you've got to play Xevious. If you're really hardcore, you can go out and buy a real stand-up, coin-op Xevious machine like they would have had it in the arcades in the 80s. And you can put that in your living room, in your house. And your wife can come home and be like, where's all the furniture? And you're like, well, I put it outside because we got a Xevious machine. You know, and she may start to get red and get mad at you. Why do you need furniture when you have a Xevious machine? The whole point is to stand there and play Xevious. I mean, it's only common sense. It's like replacing your dining room table with the cocktail version of Ms. Pac-Man. You, you can eat on that Ms. Pac-Man machine and play Ms. Pac-Man at the same time. Hell, it worked at Pizza Hut.